What is up guys? Welcome to day 53 of Onshape. What we're going to be doing here specifically is moving our parts where we want them to be. Um, if you've made the part and kind of maybe didn't pay attention to or something happened either in your part studio or in the assembly where the part isn't the way it should be and you want to rotate it, uh, here's how we do that. In the part studio, since there's no way for on shape to reference what these parts do with each other, we're going to have to rotate them together. And so my, if I click on my front of my view cube here, this actually doesn't tell me much detail of my axle and my rod. And what would be better detail would be something more like my top view. So how do I rotate this around to where my top view is going to be the same, or rotate around to where my, my top view becomes my front view? How do we do that exactly? And so we gotta think about two things. One, how are we gonna rotate this? And about what axis do we need to do it on? And so what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to go back to my first sketch here. And let's go ahead and right click, hit view normal two, double click in this sketch. And I'm going to draw a line for my part to rotate. So I'm gonna draw a line. Let's make it a perfectly horizontal line that goes through this right here. I'm gonna right click and make that a construction line because it's not actually used in any of my sketches. Uh, it's just a reference point. So we're gonna hit green check mark there and we now have our construction line. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select on the two parts that I want to rotate. And so I'm gonna click on the tooth and the axle here. Okay, let's now focus on this transform command. Kind of looks like a box rotating. So we're gonna click on it once. It's gonna ask us, what do you want to do with these two parts? You can translate it, which is a mathematical term to move or to, to push downward in the X, Y, or Z direction. Uh, you can also transform by bait connectors, but I really haven't unpacked mate connectors. If you've done that, wonderful. Uh, and then you can rotate. So what we can do then here is now we can take our rotation axis and we're gonna use that angle we just created. And I know if I rotate my part 90 degrees forward or around the X axis, I can now, let's go ahead and just type in 90 there. Hit the green check mark. And my part has to think about what is going on. It does take a little while for it to render. And so what we got here is I rotate my part 90 degrees forward. Now, we didn't create the part in this direction, but we've created part and rotated it. And so you're gonna see down here at the bottom of my timeline, you'll see transform one. So take that part and rotate it. Okay, how do we then take our part if it's rotated the wrong direction in an assembly? So for example, right here is I have this bracket pinion system. Let's go ahead and make it wrong. Let's go ahead and say, okay, something's wrong with this and it's just funky. I mean, it's, I made it the wrong direction. It's, it's some weird setup angle. And if I click on my front, my front view is this and that's just not right. So how do we fix this? Well, if you've made any parts with me, you know that at least one part of your system is fixed. That allows all of your other mates to work correctly. So if we unfix this, this allows us to rotate pieces. And so you can select all of your pieces, but you actually need to select one because since everything is connected or in reference to my axle, if I click on my axle once, this three, I uh, this, I say, three dimensional icons will pop up. One of them is you have your X, Y, and Z direction. You can translate it or you can move it up in the X, Y, or Z direction by holding and dragging these arrows. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that at zero. All right, you can, let's go ahead and click on this part again. You can move it in a plane. So we can move it in a plane or if we look at the very end of one of these things, we can rotate it a certain direction. So let's go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees, hit enter. Now if I go to my top view, my top view is there, but if I go to my front view, 
boom, and there's our front view, and it's exactly what we want it to be. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. How do we take our parts in our part studio and rotate them? We did that using transform, and then how do we rotate our parts in an assembly? And things look just a little bit different, but uh, it allows you to move things as you need. Okay, guys, if you were to make a drawing uh, file of any of these things, remember you will need to up those, update those downstream. So if, since I changed my view cube, my front is now a different object. If you made a drawing file with a fixed front, you're also gonna change the drawing file in uh, your actual update there as well. Okay, all right guys, this has been hopefully a helpful video. I've had a couple people reach out of how to rotate my parts. This video is for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to throw down in the comment section. I'll help you out when I can. And if you have any awesome, awesome, awesome ideas, please let me know. All right, I'll see you guys hopefully in the next video. Take care.